Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Jay Kissa and I love Salt and Straw. It is the best ice cream place here in LA. You know, they have it in Portland as well and I think San Francisco. It's the best, you have to go try it. Today I'm gonna be doing a full, not quite a full face of first impressions, but we do have a lot of products here. I have some indie products from Chaos Makeup, Sugar Pill lipsticks that are brand new. We have some Nabla Cosmetics highlighters. We have more high-end products, an hourglass, I almost said concealer, an hourglass mascara. And then also for the eyes, I'm gonna be using the brand new NYX Swear By It palette I have received so many requests to try this out and i mean look at the colors they're just so beautiful and i'm really excited to try this out try everything out i think this might be rather a long video so let's just go ahead and jump into it make sure to subscribe it would mean so much to me and let's yeah let's just start going my eyes are primed and set with a matte powder close to my skin tone primed primed and proper and i don't know really what i want to do i think like this green is really unique and this kind of like baby puke yellow. Maybe we could play in the greens and the blues a little bit. I think I might do that. I also kind of feel like doing eyeliner today. I don't know, we will see, we'll figure it out. Okay, so there are 40 shades in here and I believe it retails for $35, which is kind of a high price point for NYX, but you are getting a lot, a lot of shades. I'm gonna start off with this like baby puke yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna start building this up into the crease. The NYX Ultimate Brights palette is one of my favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes ever. It doesn't even just have to be from the drugstore. So when I saw that they were bringing this out, not only did I get a bunch of requests to try it, but I was very excited for the color range and I'm hoping it lives up to the Ultimate Brights palette because that palette is everything. There's an amazing mac and cheese colored eyeshadow in there. You know me and my mac and cheese. So this color seems to just be doing the work for me. It's blending really, really beautiful. And the cool thing about this palette is you are getting your warm tones, you're getting your middle yellow tones, and then you are getting some cool tones in there. So I'm looking at it right now and you are getting your blues and your grays and then your deeper shades in there, which I think is quite cool. Now I'm kind of feeling like dipping into that it's not even like an army green. It's like a little bit lighter than that. I think this shade is really unique and I feel like it might be, it might have been a little bit hard to formulate, but we will see. Oh my God, that's just, yeah, that's such a sick color. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I know Atlee, if you follow her, she did three looks with the palette. So if you wanted to see more looks out of the palette, definitely check her out. I will leave her video down below for you. She is so awesome, hilarious, and just really nice. And I've gotten to know her really well over the past like two weeks or so, I would say. We've just, we went to lunch together and then we have just been seeing each other at events a lot lately. And her and I are very similar and I just adore her and the things she says like crack me up. She's just really, really funny. This color is so, so cool. Oh my God. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade we used before. I'm like obsessed with this color. Like it just blended beautifully. Moving right along. I don't know where I wanna go with this. I love like the muted tones. So I might take this, looks like a little bit of a satin though. So hopefully it will just apply nicely into the crease. It's like a hunter green. Yeah, this seems to be applying really nice into the crease despite it being a satin. I always get a little nervous applying satins into the crease over matte shades. I mean, I don't mind just applying a satin shade all over the lid and crease and just kind of blending one and done, that kind of thing. But I do get a little nervous when it is a satin and then you have mattes underneath. I love how I was like, I'm gonna go in with blues today. Nope, I have been just sticking with greens. Maybe we'll use one of the blue shades from the Chaos Shadows on the lid. So I obviously never film with my glasses on and I don't film with my contacts in because I don't want powder to like fly into my eye. So it's really hard for me to see when I film. So if you ever see me like this, it's because I can't see and I really need to see what I'm doing when I'm blending. And so that's why I always use like the tiniest mirror possible so that way it doesn't block you from seeing what I'm doing 
but it allows me to get close. Wow, that's blending really nice. It allows me to get close enough to my eye so I can see what I'm doing. And I always get loads of questions about where my glasses are from that I always wear, the clear frames. They are actually from Warby Parker in the style Haskell. Haskell, Haskell, I think how you pronounce it. Normally greens just don't blend well for some reason. I don't know what it is about green shades that keep them from blending beautifully, but these ones are doing amazing. Okay, I think on the outer portion of the eye, I'm gonna take one of the shades in the palette and start to build that up onto, wow, that's nice as well. Oh, I love duochrome shades like this. I'm gonna just start to stamp that onto the eye. I'm gonna kind of just vary it and feather it inward slightly. I am gonna just keep it on the outer portion because I do wanna use that chaos shade. You could definitely apply this with your finger if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use a brush because you know what? Why not have another brush to clean? It's the bane of my existence. The vein, bane, who knows? I don't think there's anyone that hates cleaning brushes more than I do. It's also like I... I know this is going to be really weird, but I hate folding clothes. I worked at Zoomies, a skateboard shop, for two years, and all I did was fold clothes. And so I just hate folding clothes, so like everything's on a hanger. I'm going to take the Chaos Makeup Eyeshadow Shade in Aqua Sky. I have received so many, like so many of you have tagged me whenever these shadows pop up on Instagram. I always get tagged in them, so I ordered them, and I'm going to be taking, wow, Okay then, okay. I'm gonna, oh my God. <gasps> wow, holy wow. That is not wet or anything. Oh my gosh, wow. That is one of the most shimmery, potent eyeshadows I've ever come across. Holy heck. That already just looks super foiled on the lid without even having to wet it. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. It makes the NYX one like put to shame kind of, you know? Okay, so I just cleaned my finger off and I'm gonna go back into that NYX shade and see if I can build that up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, you definitely can apply it with your finger. My last video was with blue eyeshadow. This one's with blue and green. I'm just on a blue and green hype as of lately. I don't know why. I'm just gonna clean off my lower lash line. I think I might wanna do some eyeliner though to kind of like ground everything, you know? But first I'm gonna just bring that to the inner portion of the eye because I don't want to um, have like a weird little stop. I think I am gonna just do a quick wing off of camera. I'm just gonna be using my Dose of Color Shady. You've seen me do wings a million times and I don't have any new eyeliner so I thought I just spilled something on my pants. So I'm just gonna skip over it and I will be right back and we will move on to concealer. Okay, so I just did a tiny wing and I'm gonna be using the brand new Becca Ultimate Coverage Long Wear Concealer. I am in the shade Cream, I believe. I had to order this online. I'm not really sure if this is gonna be a good shade for me. I know it's coming out in stores um, in a little bit. This feels very thick. I'm gonna use some around my nose, and I'm gonna start off with just a, I have a spot here too. So I'll just go, how did I get eyeliner everywhere? I'm gonna use my Dampened Real Techniques Beauty Sponge here. Wow, that is very intense. The name does fit it really well. Just the tiniest bit is going the really long way. I think it might be just a touch light for me. I feel like I would have to go up with the shade. This formula is feeling a little bit more dry than I would have hoped for. Okay, yeah, so this is super intense. I'm not sure if I'm loving this. Oh yeah, I, mm, I do not know. Because it is a little light, I'm just gonna be taking my Too Faced, what is this powder called? Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Now this powder is a little bit dark, and so whenever a, pow whenever a concealer is really light, I like to use this to kind of just make it look more of my right tone. Not my favorite. I want to use some of the berry shades on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna use the yellow and the orange to just merge the greens that we have going on into the berries. So I'm gonna start off with this really pretty marigold shade and I'm gonna just build that up onto the lower lash line. I am using somewhat of a bigger blending brush here because I want this to kind of act as our transition shade out into the lower lash line area. All right, now I'm gonna take um, kind of that mid-tone. It's it's almost like a mac and cheese, but it's a little bit more orange. I'm very particular about my mac and cheese shades, okay? 
It's just a touch more orange. It's like a pumpkin color, actually. These are blending really, really easy as well. Oh, looking at this concealer, like feels heavy on the skin, but I feel like it didn't correct this area right here in person. You can definitely still see my darkness. I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. And now I'm going in with that really cool berry shade that I've been dying to use. I'm gonna build that up onto the close to my lower lash line as I can get her. That berry shade is really, really cool. I feel like we are losing some of that berry when we blend it, so I might just go back in and add that one more time. I'm trying to think of what I want for an inner corner highlight. I'm looking in the Swear By It palette. There's not that many light shades. We could use this Chaos shade. Oh, I don't think that would be a good highlight, you know? Hmm. Okay, let's try this light golden shimmery color. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just figure it out from there. Well, that works. Mm, I would have liked it to be a little bit brighter, actually. I'm not mad at it. I love that trick of kind of bringing it up into the inner crease, just right there. I love that trick. That's been probably one of my favorite tricks that I've picked up on. In my lower waterline, I used Alkaline Pencil from Urban Decay. If you've ever looked for a berry eyeliner, this one is so, so good. For my mascara today, I'm gonna to be using the brand new Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. So I've heard that this mascara is crazy. I like the wand on it. I'm gonna start off with my lower lashes and then we'll kind of go from there. My favorite mascara is the Kush Mascara, so we will see how this kind of holds up against it. I always like to do my bottom lashes first and then I go in with my top lashes. I've also heard that if you curl your lashes, this holds the curl really well, which is something that I feel like I never curl my lashes because of that. My lashes never hold a curl, so maybe this will kind of be the test. I'm not mad at how long it made my lower lashes look. So I have my mascara in one hand. I put the curler down and then I go in with the mascara. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm quickly gonna apply lashes and I don't have any new contour, bronzer, or blush. I only have a new highlighter. How is there eyeliner everywhere on me? I will put on lashes and then come back for the highlighter and then we can do lips and kind of go from there. I did my contour, I did my bronzer with Becca Bali Sands, and then for blush, I used Becca Damselfly Blush. A lot of people have talked about this for so long, and I am like the most late to the train with this blush, but I've been using it the past few days, and I absolutely love it. My lashes are still drying, so if you see a little bit of lash glue, do not fret. Now let's go ahead and move on to highlighter. Nabla Cosmetics came out with a bunch of new highlighting products, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be trying the highlighting stick, and then I'll probably layer over top of it the highlighter in Wave. For highlighter, like cream highlighters, I like to use my ring finger and just kind of swirl it onto the highlighting stick. Then I'm gonna just, ooh, wow, that's very intense. Okay then, that does look so pretty though. Pop that on top of my cheeks. It doesn't feel overly like sticky or goopy. It actually feels really, really nice. And I feel like it looks really pretty too. This could be good for like no makeup makeup days when you're wanting to just do like a natural look. And then I'm gonna be taking the shade Wave and kind of dusting that over top. And I'm gonna be using circular motions. Oh, that's a match made in heaven. Oh my gosh, that's like a literal match made in heaven. This highlighter is much more intense than like these highlighters. And if you are someone that likes a more intense highlighter and you've tried the Nabla ones before, you might really like this. I think that it, oh my gosh, it just looks so pretty. So Sugar Pill came out with three new liquid lipsticks. These are time release glitter lipsticks. As the day goes on, they do get more glittery, but they are gonna start off a little bit matte. We have a few shades here. What shade should I do? I think I'm gonna do this one. This is the shade Doll Up. Ooh, that smells like creamsicle. Do you ever remember in school when they would serve you creamsicle, like little cups? I hated those. Ooh, I can think of them right now, and the thought of my teeth scraping against the wood the spatula thing makes me want to throw up. You can definitely, like when you're applying, you can tell that there's something other than just matte. But oh, that color is like so good. Before I fix my lashes and go finish blow drying my hair, because my hair is not all the way dry, I'm gonna be using the Becca and Chrissy Teigen body oil. I've been wanting to try this, and it says we've captured the essence of summer or vacation in a bottle. I've smelled this, I haven't tried it so far, but the smell is like so good. I'm gonna just hover. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into my hand, I think. Is that what you do? 
and you just, you just dump it, right? Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna use some on my shoulders. Did that do anything? It's hard to tell. I feel like it soaked into the skin really quickly. You can definitely see the glitter in person, but I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It doesn't feel sticky though. I don't know, I've never had any experience with body oils before. That's kind of like, so I don't know how much you're supposed to apply. Did I apply too much? Did I apply too little? I don't really know. Okay, everyone, so here is the finished look. Let's go ahead and talk about the products. I'm gonna kind of rank them from Oh my gosh, amazing to meh, maybe I'll try it again, to uh, it's, it's enough for me, Paula. So first off, let's start off with the best products. And I would have to say that's gonna be the Swear By It palette. I know it is a little bit on the pricey side for NYX, but truly you have everything you would need in here. You have some neutrals, you have more warm tone shades, you have cool tone shades. Keep that in mind that I have not used all of the shades in here, so I can't give you a full in depth review of like yes or no, but I am very excited about this palette. I am heading to New York. By the time this video goes up, I will be in New York tomorrow. So I think I am going to be taking this with me to New York because it just has everything I need in here. And I'm really excited about everything. And the way this eye look turned out, I absolutely love. And the other amazing product is the Chaos Eyeshadows. I tried the shade Aqua Sky on the eyes and it just looks so beautiful. It took a little amount of product to really stretch far and I'm highly impressed with these. So these were definitely the two like winners for me out of this first impressions. Oh wait, also the winner is the Nabla. This highlighting stick is so beautiful. The highlighter that I put on top, I don't even know where it is anymore, was really pretty too, but this one definitely won me over for sure. I just love the highlighting stick and I think that it's gonna be so nice for just an all cream makeup day or if you are looking for a stick highlighter. I think that one is really, really beautiful. Let's talk about the meh products. The Hourglass Caution Mascara. I still prefer my Kush Mascara. It's not that this mascara wasn't good. It's just that I personally prefer my Kush Mascara, so that's why I'm giving it a meh rating. As for the Sugar Pill Lipsticks, I just don't think the time release glitter thing is m really my thing. I prefer to either have a matte lip or with no glitter or just a different lipstick. So I don't know if these are the biggest hits for me, but that doesn't mean that the formula is bad or anything. It's just kind of a personal preference that is just kind of meh. The Chrissy Teigen Body Glow Oil, I feel like the glow has kind of gone away, but my skin does feel really moisturized and I can still smell it, so that's nice. I'm not really exactly sure how body oils kind of work. This is only my first one that I've ever tried. So I don't know if it's supposed to like last, if the glow is supposed to last a long time or not. So if you do know, let me know down below because I'm not really that sure. And then the product that was a complete miss for me is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. I just did not like this whatsoever. I would not use it again just because I feel like it creased immediately. It's very heavy. Even though it was a heavy coverage, I feel like I still see some of my darkness poking through. And I just feel as if the weight of it is very heavy but the coverage isn't heavy, if that makes sense. It just feels heavy on the under eye areas, which is a very delicate and very thin skin, and it just creased immediately. I just wasn't the biggest fan of that concealer, which bums me out so much because I was really looking forward to it. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.